Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhar, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this totally unedited FECO surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at mid limbus. And now, the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Then a side port is done on the left side of the main incision, about 90 degree away from the main incision. And now capsulorexis is done with the help of a uterita forceps. I usually go anticlockwise with my right hand and clockwise with my left hand. Sometimes I do phaco surgery with my left hand. Hydrodissection is done, the nucleus is tapped. At this moment I did not rotate the nucleus. Now I am going to use a pre-chopper designed by me known as Mohanta's pre-chopper and this is the pre-chopper made of stainless steel. The sustainer also is made of stainless steel. Two heminuclei and then one heminucleus is divided into two fragments and then I come out. Now the anterior chamber is again filled up with visco and now the hand piece is taken, the fecunodil is placed bevel down and it goes into the anterior chamber. The free nuclear piece is emulsified. Then the other nuclear piece is emulsified and then the heminucleus is held and see I cannot hold it. So I just, it just tumbled and I start eating off anyway and it gets over in few seconds. So this kind of cataract where you cannot hold it and chop it. This pre-chop technique is a beautiful way to manage SARS nuclei. Now the antechamber is again filled up with visco and cortical cleanup is being done with the help of this 23 gauze Simco cannula. The Simco is very thin and it goes through a 1.7 millimeter side port. Cortical cleanup can also be done with coaxial irrigation aspiration or by manual irrigation aspiration, whatever way you want it. And this is the last portion of the cortex. I find that it is not coming easily. So by this time there is some chemosis, just make a small nick in the solen of conjunctiva and now Somehow I have to do to remove this cortex. So I am using bimanual irrigation aspiration. The irrigation goes through the main wound, the aspiration through the side port and it gets over.
Now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. The main wound is enlarged a little bit because I am using a B cartridge. Wound assisted delivery is a bit tricky because the lens can get stuck in the wound. The intraocular lens has been placed in the capsula bag. some more irrigation to remove the visco molecules that were in the lumen of the cartridge. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side port is closed by stromal hydration. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. And the chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.